I can't say who, but got no, someone. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, sorry. This person just wanted to. They were, they were watching my stream. What's going on? Okay. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Do you, do you want a future of peace? Because let me, as an Israeli, I okay. want to live, be able to. I want to be able to live side by side with the Palestinian people mm -hmm. without us wanting to kill them and without them wanting to kill us. That is the ideal future for everyone. Now, as a Palestinian, like you identify as, as do, a Palestinian. You also, do you also want to live side by side within peace? Because, because as you can see, the Israelis and the Jewish people living in Israel, they're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Dude. And that's... And, and okay, that well, what's, that the what's, the, what's the question leader? exactly? What's the question exactly? Do you want to live side by side in peace? Do I want to live side by side in peace? I, I mean, I mean, you know, you, you know, something that we, we, we chant a lot is, is, I mean, ceasefire. I think, I think that is the closest we'll get to peace right now. But also what you chant, also another thing you chant is from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Basically calling from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea that Palestine will be free, meaning eradicating it of all the Israelis. Uh, that actually means giving rights, equal rights, to the people in the apartheid I, state I, of I Israel. I 100% believe in equal rights. The okay. Palestinian people, the Israeli Arabs living in hold Israel... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry. The Israeli Not Arabs you. living in Israel uh -huh. have 100% the exact same rights that I have. There is... There was a Palestinian a Arab Muslim judge that put an Israeli president in jail. There are actually jail. there are actually 65 Israeli laws that go against the Arabs that live in Israel. What are the what are the, the law of return, for example? Because it's a Jewish state, but they still have full citizenship. It's a completely different thing. I mean, thing. no, they are second-class citizens. They, they are, they are, I mean... They are 100% not second-class citizens. My dad's business partner that he works they, side I, I mean, by side... I mean, they just, they just don't have Arab. equal... They, don't, they just don't have equal rights, though. Of course they do. My dad's or, business they, 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 partner... They don't have the same rights. They have the exact same rights. My dad's business partner, I will say it again, that he works side by side with is an Arab living in Israel mm -hmm. that has exactly the same rights as my father and mm -hmm. as me. But what about the right of return? What about the right of return? I mean, they don't have the right of, the, you know, the other Palestinians that are refuged right now in other countries. Listen, listen, listen I'll, let me what? tell you something. The, the Jewish people are the indigenous people to the land of Israel. It is a fact. There's archaeological evidence that we are the indigenous people to the land of Israel. Full stop. What? So the right of return... You're the indigenous we, people? Yeah. The Jewish people are the indigenous people to the land of Israel. I mean, we are, we, we are also the indigenous people of the land of Palestine. We're connected, you know? No. So... I can't just, hear you, muted. Sorry, sorry. We're connected just as much as you. If, okay. if you but, say you're indigenous, I'm indigenous too. You didn't answer my question, though, about peace. You didn't answer my question. Do you want peace? Do I want peace? Do I want peace? I can tell you, I can tell you 100 by side and coexist with the Arabs, with the Palestinians living right. Do no, you want peace? No justice, no peace is something else we chant. Define, define justice. Define justice. The 75 years of occupation, for example, ended. But there were so many, ended. but during that during the 75 years of occupation, there was so decided not to and decided to wage war. S say that again, sorry. Five years of occupation, there has been so many points where they could have agreed on a peace deal, but they decided... 75 years... They want, they want to wage war, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The, the Arabs want to wage war? I'm saying during the 75 years of occupation... You keep... Yeah, okay, okay. There has been so many opportunities to create peace with the Israelis, okay, from the Palestinian I, I mean, side. Instead of creating yeah, yeah, and the, every single time, they have waged war. The, the last one was the Abraham Accords. And, 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 the, and, the, and, and the, pa the Palestinians weren't even there, though, to, to make the decision. Well, that there has been so many... But it was everyone, it was everyone but us... No, that's not true. That's not true. It, it is in true. It, it is the simple in 19, fact. In, 19, in 1948, the UN partition plan, they could have agreed to have peace, but they didn't. Every single Arab nation waged war on Israel and waged war on the Jews. But, the, the 19, uh, but I'm talking about the Abraham 19, Accord right now. 
Which is the most recent one? The Abraham Accord is the most recent one. I'm talking about. Do you want to talk about 75 years of occupation? I'm talking about history. In okay, 19... you, 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 hold on. What's your question? What's your question? Last thing you can speak. Last thing you can speak. In 1936, they got offered 80% of the land. We got offered 20% of the land. Okay. In 1936, you got offered how many? You offered 20, and we got offered 80. Is that what you're saying? In 1936. The head of the Palestinian leadership back then that represented the Palestinian people said no to the agreement and went to go live with Hitler hold on, in Nazi hold Germany. On. And went to go live with Hitler yeah, in yeah. Nazi Germany. The, hold on, hold on. What? The leader of the Palestinian The leader of the Palestinian people. So you but you told me there was no there was no leader. In 1936, there was someone that represented the Palestinian people. So, so because because they had a meeting, because they had a meeting, because they listen, because they had a meeting with Hitler. Now they are the leader. Like you, you, you just told me, you, you just told, you just told me Palestine has no leader. And now because you found someone that met with, I mean, you did. You said you. That's not what I said. G G Gandhi met. That represented the Arab Palestinian people in 1936. He said no. To the plan to give the Arabs eighty percent and the Jews twenty percent, and then he went to go live in Germany with Hitler. Okay, just showing you how much anti-Semitism there was back then and still now. I mean, you understand? I understand that, that there's. I'm not denying. I'm not denying anti-Semitism. I'm not denying anti-Semitism. What I am denying is that it, it, it's a. You're, you're, I mean, you're you're kind of explaining that it's a part of us. You know that we are anti. No, I didn't say that. I didn't and, say that. I didn't say that. And, but I mean, that's basically what you're saying is that. And also, do you think Palestine is is anti-Semitic? Do you think Palestinians are anti-Semitic? I'm just showing you my point that you can still not agree on peace. You keep saying. But, but no, no, no. But you are saying the cause for Palestine, which when I say from the river to the sea, you're saying that's anti-Semitic. But 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 like. Say that again. You clearly. You clearly don't want to be under Hamas rule in the land of Israel because that would just be stupid. So, okay, anti-Semitic. Okay, hold on. Are the 5,000 children, actually 6,500 children at this point, are they anti-Semitic? Okay, were they, were they anti-Semitic? My heart hurts for every single child that dies in Gaza. My heart... So why do you not support a ceasefire? Why? Because Hamas need to be eradicated. We cannot go on... But do you understand the, ma but do you understand the majority are being civilians right now? The, the majority that are being killed are civilians? So it's, it's, it's a 100, it is a 100, listen to me, it is a 100 to 1 ratio from Hamas and the innocent lives in, in Gaza. How can you differentiate between a Hamas, okay, terrorist to an innocent civilian? How can you, sitting in America, I, uh, uh, identify who is who? Are you in Gaza? Are you in Gaza? I, I've been, are you in Gaza? Are you in Gaza? Right now, no, clearly not. Okay, so... It's the same question to you. How can you differentiate between an innocent life and... and I mean, are, are kids are kids terrorists? An intelligent... Uh, no, I said it again. The innocent civilians and kids that are dying aches me and hurts my heart every single day. But I am telling you that you cannot differentiate between... Uh, I cannot differentiate uh -huh, between innocent civilians and terrorists. Yeah, you're just too loud on here. I have to lower you. Right. What did you say? Sorry. I'm saying that you can't differentiate between the innocent civilians and Hamas terrorists, and nor can I. But the IDF, one of the smartest militaries in the world... One of the can. smartest militaries in the world that are bombing hospitals and cannot do anything else about it, that are bombing I mean, refugee I mean, camps exactly. and cannot do anything I mean, else about it, exactly. apparently they're the smartest military in the world. Aren't They have special forces. Why don't they use I mean, those? Not, wait, wait, can I, let me ask you a question. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah. Okay. yeah, special operations. Okay, what? In 2005, okay? In, in 2005... Israel withdrew from Gaza, right? Israel withdrew uh, from Gaza, but still manages everything around it and uh, controls but the food, controls the food, water, water, electricity, and actually has a blockade all over Gaza. How much, how much water, fuel, and food do Israel let into Gaza? Do Israel give to Gaza? And, and how much? And, and, and how much water? And how, and how much? And how much water, fuel, and food did Ga uh, did Israel take away from Gaza? And is doing a collective punishment for what Hamas what did. I'm asking you, what percent? What percent do they control of food, water, electricity? What I, percent? I, hold on, I I don't do know. You know? I, I don't know what percent that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. Five to twelve percent. Five so to yes, twelve percent. Israel, yes. So because Israel Wait, what are you what are you even talking about? 
the food that we the food electricity and water and oil that we supply to gaza we supply five to twelve percent okay now because okay. hamas because hamas the governing party of gaza decided to attack israel and do a terrorist attack which is one of the worst terrorist attacks the world ever seen uh -huh. okay of course we're going to stop the five to twelve percent that we supply them of course but that I, doesn't I, mean I don't i don't off. think it's five to twelve percent five to twelve percent i'm telling uh, the, you the, i'm telling you the, israel does not control five to twelve percent of of everything that goes israel into gaza i'm pretty sure it's a hundred no nope we control five to twelve percent now let me tell you something else i think it's majority why would we, why, nope it's not why would we supply to people that are killing our citizens okay our innocent civilians why would we supply them with five to twelve percent of water electricity and fuel it, first it of all i mean sense. and you're making it sound you're making it sound better than it is first of all it's not five no, to twelve it's not it's five not to twelve it's not five to twelve percent. Number one, number one. Hello. So we're gonna get that out of the way, okay? Number two. It is. It is. Oh, no, num no, 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 number two. Number. Okay. Number. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Number two. Yeah. It doesn't. Matter. It doesn't. It doesn't because there are two point two million people living in Gaza that are being collectively that are getting, punished. That are still getting water, electricity, and fuel. Just not from Israel. Just not the five to twelve percent from Israel. Because it's not five to twelve percent. It's the majority. It is not five. No. It's not. What are your it's sources? Not. Google it. Google it right now. Google? Google's show me. Yalla, show me. Where does it say five to twelve percent five to twelve percent of what? Like food, water, and electricity? Is that what you're saying? That Israel supports Gaza with? I'll show you right now. I mean that's just not that's just I mean uh, that's just not true. Uh, but Hey, I, I'll find you the facts. But besides that, let me let me tell you another point. Besides that, okay, uh -huh. I'll find you the facts. But besides that, in two thousand and five, Israel. Well, 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 we can't. We, well, we cannot say besides that. We can't say besides that. Why are you moving to a different topic? We will get back to that. I promise we'll get back. Let's finish this now because it's an important topic that they don't have food, water, electricity, or any resources that can keep them alive. Wait, wait, wait. And and also on that, we just supplied them with three hundred liters of fuel uh, two days ago. So let's just uh, for, put that for, out for, there. For, okay, is that water? Is that food? Is that fuel? Fuel. Yeah, yeah. What about the food? What about the water? Like I said, they still receive humanitarian aid just from, not who? from Israel. From who? From from, the, from, all, from all the humanitarian aid they're. And what are they doing? And what are they doing? They are threatening the 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 trucks that are coming in with humanitarian aid. You can even look this up yourself. They are threatening them to not give humanitarian aid, and they're also bombing they the are, borders. No, no, no. They are checking the trucks that there are no rockets what? being brought in. That hold there on. are no rockets. Wh hold on. And give, give, me, give, give me one second. Hold on. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll do it in a second. What? Okay. This. This. All, everything that I'm saying right now is there's a bigger point to it. Okay, in 2005, Israel unilaterally withdrew from Gaza. Okay, wait, wait, what were we just? We were just talking about uh, electricity, food, and water. Why are we like moving on? I'm going to come back to it. It's all part of my. Okay, point. Okay, okay, but also a part of that, they are they are bombing locations with aid. By the way, just give me a second. Just okay. give me a second. Okay, okay. Israel withdrew from Gaza. They gave Israel the, the Palestinian Gaza. people. They gave the Palestinian people the right to 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 re uh, represent themselves, to govern themselves, and to become their own people. What happened was that they elected Hamas as their leadership. Uh, the Hamas killed Fatah, and they threw Turn, them off but, buildings. Okay? They they, but, but, buildings. but they turned they turned the occupation occupation into a siege with no, Gaza. They took they took full control over Gaza, and the Hamas leaders, instead of creating a Singapore in the Middle East, in the Middle East they created a it was, terrorist state and a it, terror capital. It was a that siege. It was a siege. Gaza, what happened with Gaza was a siege. It, 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 tur it turned into an open-air prison. I wouldn't even say it's a prison. It's an open-air concentration camp because they did nothing wrong. A prison is where you go if you do something wrong. And half of those people are kids. That is what happened. I don't know what you are talking about. You're, you're missing my point. You're missing my point. I'm not missing any point. You're, you are very, you are very much missing my point. You, you I, the thing I, is, I don't you, think so. You find it very hard. You find it very hard to blame your own 
um, representatives and the people that are, 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 are representing your people. You find it very hard that it's very easy to point the finger at Israel. I mean, okay. Hamas, Hamas didn't even like exist before, uh, you know, in the 80s. The idea, you the, know? Idea of, the idea of Hamas and the eradication of Jews has always been around. But it's very easy but, to but, point but, the okay, finger Okay, but I literally ask you this question. No, but do you think Palestinians are anti-Semitic? That's what you're saying. Well, you think the Palestinians have think always looked to eradicate the Jews? I don't think that. I don't think that. Okay. There is a, a, a percentage of Palestinian people, of Muslims, that are radical. There is a percentage that are radical. A, per, a percentage? What, 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 yes. what, and and can, you, can you define radical for me? Like, like what? That want to, want they, to they, carry they, out terror, that, that they, want to carry out terror attacks that want to carry out terror attacks and want to eradicate the Jews out of Israel. There is a percentage... No, I'll, I'll, I'll define radical for you. It's they want the occupation to stop an end to the occupation. The end to apartheid, an end to the colonial uh, okay, uh, settlements. I, and, 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 you know, that's... You keep, you keep mentioning apartheid. What is happening in Israel is not apartheid. But I told you, we, we already talked about that with the 65 Israeli laws that are against the Arabs, one including the right of return. And also, if you were to, let's say, buy a house, it would cost something, it would cost more for a Palestinian. I've even